Today we're talking about discipline. 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 Some of us have different ideas about discipline. And right. today we're going to talk about disciplining children. Right, because disciplining children is not correct. You should not discipline children. Oh, are you kidding? Right? Oh, come on. Okay, so. Why can't you just let kids be kids? Oh, right. Why? And no boundaries. Why can't no they walls. just be kids? No, because then they would end up like you. Right. <laughs> and me. Right. No, I would, trust me, I was disciplined. No, listen, I think disciplining children is very important, but I think there are sometimes men and women kind of differ on the discipline. For example, we have two daughters. And I, I, I don't just see two kids who need to be disciplined. I see two helpless little girls. So when they do something oh wrong, gosh. I say, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But she sees it in a whole no, different way. No, because he was, you know, fun dad. Mom is, you know, the disciplinarian all day long, the mean one. Evil, You know, the evil, evil walking through the halls with, you know, with Vader. a baseball bat in my hand. And then he comes home and it's like, hey, you know, playing with voices. What did your mom say to you? No. What did you, what did your mother what? say to you? What? <laughs> Why'd you say that to her? That was no, how and I'd then come he home. would do it like in you know I don't know the Cookie Monster's voice. I'd right, say, so, hey everybody, this is your <laughs> old pal Grover. I would do talk you see like how Grover. I didn't stand a chance? It wasn't fair. Yeah, but I would read stories to them as Grover. That's and, right, and, and then I would read, and they would go, Mom, can Dad read the story to us? Because yeah. I only had my voice. But what I want to say I is, I trained my whole life to be fun, Dad. By the way, I, know I really you did. worked hard on it. I was like a Jedi. I but because really you know what a Jedi is, even. Yes, I do. Okay, so you say but right because, there. Because you have the, the, the things in the uh, side. I have the lightsabers. Yeah, the lightsabers. Yeah. Okay, but because of the discipline that I instilled in these children when they were very young, yes. um, we have two self-sufficient, amazing girls. We really do. We're going to show pictures of them right now. We'll show yes. some pictures of our girls And right you know now. what? One is Carly 13. Is, Carly is our 15-year-old. She's the dark-haired one. And, and Sophia, Sophia is, is the, well, brunette as she... Wish she had my hair, but she's a little sandy brown. But up. she is thirteen. Um, these, th she's thirteen, but she could move out tomorrow. And the only thing she couldn't do would be to drive. She'd have to have someone drive her. Yeah, you know what's great? I mean, we really learned at a very early age. I mean, I learned at a very early age that non-disciplined people don't do well in life. I, I, no. uh, I, I grew up uh, at near a lot of people that weren't very disciplined in certain things. And as a result, I saw the bad effects it had in their lives. And uh, I realized at a young age, I didn't want to be like that. So I spent majority of my time disciplining myself. I mean, I, I made myself work hard. I made right. myself study things I needed to study. I made myself, um, you know, uh, get up early in the morning and exercise. Or sometimes, sometimes I'd go out and hang out with my friends, and I would, I, I would, that, I would discipline that's... myself to drink as many beers as my <laughs> friends did. No, I'm kidding. But um, I would, I would always try and really focus on my work at a young age, and I wanted to build a career. And I really realized that discipline in all areas of life is very important. So Absolutely. I'd like, to, I'd like, we'd like to ask you right now if you're a disciplined person, if you feel as Are though. You? Well, well, let's hear. Do you feel as though you're actually doing everything you're supposed to do? I mean, if you're an actor, are you out there doing all the things you should be doing for your career? Are you out there doing showcases? Are you out there trying to find an agent? Are you How out can you there? write to acting? I don't know. I was an actor for a while. And it was oh, a lot of I'm thinking about, about you know, because not a lot of, most of the majority of actors are about this well, big. Well, we, 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 we are in L.A. I thought of that. Or if you are, for example, um, if you run a business, are you doing all or the things? Are you a college student? Right. Are you, you know? studying? Are you are you doing all the things your business requires you to do? Are you uh, doing all the stuff you're supposed to do for your college? Are you just in college because your parents paid for it and you're partying? I mean, what well, are you doing? Well, can we get back to kids? Sure. Okay, Discipline. Okay, this is really right. what I wanted to get to was the fact that because, okay, one of our daughters, our younger one. Sophia. Oh, she's going to get so upset that we just said her name. If you're and playing now, at home. We said her name. We said well, it I know, four but minutes now, ago. But now they're going to know that she was the only one that we had to discipline in the house. No, we disciplined Carly, too. Okay, one, I'll get back to Carly in a minute. But <laughs> but Sophia, she she lied about something at school. She was in first grade. First grade. Very she, little kid. She was talking. She wasn't supposed to. They gave her two warnings. The third warning is you got to flip your card. And if you flip your card, you got to have your mom. What does flip your card mean? It's Explain just, to them what that means. Okay, they, well, we're moms, we know. No, there's there's like, I don't know, this thing on the board, and you, every, every kid has a card. Uh -huh. And if you have to flip your card over, that means that you were warned twice, oh. but you didn't stop talking, so now the third time, you're in trouble. Oh. And your mom has to sign something saying that she knows that you had to flip your card. Uh -huh. Okay, so to make a long story short, she didn't tell us until the last very second. He was out of town. I'm home. She uh, The night before, it was supposed to be that she had to turn this in. All of a sudden, she gets this horrible stomach ache. We're driving the car. Oh, I can't breathe, Mom. Something's really bad. Really hard. I mean, really dramatic. So I'm freaking out all night long. I'm up there. Can you believe one of her children is dramatic? No, but I'm up there all night I long. Can't. Because he was in New York, so I'm by myself. I'm like, what's wrong with her? I don't understand what's wrong. She wakes up the next morning, and she kind of, she's okay. And I'm like, Sophia, you know, you slept pretty good. What's wrong? And she was like... 
nothing. And she starts crying. I'm like, why are you crying? She said, well, I had to flip a card and you have to sign the paper. So she was terrified. This poor little first grader was terrified. Okay, but you see what he says, this poor little first grader. <laughs> that to me is not poor little. That is someone who lied. So lying does not work in my house. No. In our house. No, I've see, never I, I lied. I said on my house because it's my house during the day. It's our I've house. I've never lied about anything. Does this make me look fat? No. Exactly. I've never but anyway, lied. so she lied. Well, it was right around Halloween. I took away um, any any kind Halloween, of electronic yeah. anything, and then there's a big party at Nickelodeon that they do when you're first grade. Every kid wants to go to this Nickelodeon Halloween party. All the shows dress up their areas to go through like scary houses and stuff. Well, I told her she couldn't go, but I was still bringing her friends and her sister. I know, look at his face. And they were all dressed up, so imagine this. They're in the car, I've got them in the minivan. I've got all the kids, everybody's dressed with Hall you know, in Halloween costumes. And Sophia wasn't no, there. No, Sophia wasn't dressed. I took her to your mother's office. Yes. And I made her sit there till five o'clock, till his mother went home, mm -hmm. and they did nothing. So she looked at me before she got out of the car and she went, Mom, I'll see you later. Oh my God. With the eyes oh about this God. big. She gets out of the car oh and she God. walked like a trooper. Right in. Now, did it make me want to cry? Yes, but can I just say something? One thing, let me just tell you this. The reason why that it was important to get her not to lie ever again. She's never lied to me, ever, ever. <laughs> not that I know of. Are but we no. sure about no, that? No, this right. kid has never lied again. Now, I know maybe first grade, Butch was like, I can't believe you did this. He called me from New York. I just thought it was a little harsh for that. I, I thought. Taking away the TV and all that stuff was fine, but not letting her go to the Halloween party was a little rough. I, but, I mean, rough. you know, if you have any questions about discipline, obviously I'm Like, for example, I'm we want to ask you guys, what would you guys do? Yeah, We'd like what to would hear you your do? answers, actually. Like, if your daughter lied to you, what would you do? In would you, first grade. You have to kind of give the whole scenario. Grade. Well, and, and you know what? Uh, what would you, because Sophia, by the way, has turned out to be an amazing child. She's That's what I'm saying. She's awesome. awesome. She's amazing. Yeah. One time, Carly, she got away from me at the grocery store. Uh, made she me very, very mad. She was very young. I was really pregnant. Couldn't find her. When I found her, I put her up on the shelf. <laughs> and in the grocery and I, store. In the grocery store. I said, don't you ever do that to me again. Well, there was people there that didn't like nervous. that. And they were like, I can't believe you did that to your child. And I said, hold it. <laughs> Just one second. I am lactating. No, I was very pregnant and it was uh, not going to, I was not going to put up with that. So anyway, Carly never ran away again. We have the two best girls ever you could ever ask for. Of course, we've also prayed that into them as well. Right. We, so, uh, well, yeah, we've definitely prayed it and she's definitely uh, terrified them into not lying. In fact, I wouldn't so, even lie because I want to go to Halloween too. I don't want to be I know. It was, I, I it was, you know what happened that day? We were walking around that night and the Halloween party and we both were like, this is really sad. Sophia's not here. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it was awful. And so, Sophia, we want you to know that I was, I, it, the old expression, it hurts me more than it hurts you. It definitely hurt me more than it hurt than it hurt you. But and, sometimes uh, you have to do something like that. You have to go to that kind of a drastic You do, measure. you definitely do. She didn't get beat. Oh my gosh, she couldn't watch TV listen, for a week. How horrible is that? Listen, I would rather have a child I had to discipline one time than have to do yes. it all the time. So I, we, again, we want to ask you guys, have you disciplined your children a lot? Do you discipline, is it a regular thing? Do you make, the, do you give them boundaries? Or do you let your kids just run around and do whatever they want to do? And, and if, if so, is that working out for you? I want to know well, how that works out Well, you know what, I've had, because you know, since I'm the mom and I'm around a lot of mothers, and I have had a close friend who said, you know, one day her kid was out of control and she went, well, that's what those no boundaries got me. You know, and it's true. When you raise your kid with no boundaries, no, no rules, I mean. Like, are you your kid's friend? Or are you your kid's parent? There's a whole different thing there because you have to be your child's parent, not their friend. The friendship thing will come later. But uh, they, you, they, children l l really like boundaries. When I was a kid, I really liked rules right. to follow and things like that. I was a very good rule follower. I liked it. But a lot of kids that I've uh, met after they've grown up have said, I'm so glad my parents gave me rules to follow. I'm and so you know glad my parents wouldn't let me go to that party that night. I'm so glad my parents exactly. let me Exactly. And that. I tell my kids all the time that I am, I love them as people. Now, I mean, it's a separate thing. I love you as a person. I would have loved to have a friend like you. That's how you can kind of be their friend. But that's probably as far as it can go because you can't, you got to have control of your kids. And now, and what about, I know we have to go because she's going to get mad. But listen, you'll be a better friend to your kid if you check their text messages, if you go on their Facebooks and you look and see what they're doing because you have no other way of finding out. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Exactly. So we Definitely have a scripture check today. Out. Our scripture, and again, we have to close out, but our, our foundation scripture for today is 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 
uh, chapter 9, verse 27, and it is, But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. What that means basically is discipline yourself, be in control in yourself, so that when you minister to other people and tell them how to be disciplined, you're disciplined too. Don't practice what you don't preach. You know, if you're going to talk yes. about discipline, be disciplined on your own and be in control and keep your kids in control, right? That's right. And we are very disciplined people. Sometimes we have to kind of take a little bit of a break from that because we've become too disciplined. I'm still wearing dirty underwear. I know what you mean by that. <laughs> that's his way of, you know, of, I that's know, my way of his, being romantic. No, oh anyway. God, no, that means that's when you're rebelling. Right. Well, right, thank goodbye. you very much for watching. This is Heart to Heart. I'm Butch Julian. No, I'm, I'm Butch and Julian. I'm at Butch Julian. <laughs> All right. Have a good uh, day, evening. See you Bye. Soon. <laughs> Thanks.